Welcome back to the Throwdown. Today, we got Mr. Aiden Irvin. Call him Mr. Tyvee. <coughs> so, Irvin, Irvin Alert. How was the first day of off-season? Uh, first day of off-season. Uh, I'm liking what we're doing this year. Uh, we have three groups. Uh, power group, more for our linemen. Uh, skill group for faster guys and our hybrid groups for like some of our safeties and uh, kind of in the middle kids. So, we're trying to get max effort out of the... Uh, out of all these people. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Was there any, like, like, were people struggling out there today? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. If, uh, uh, there's a lot of people out there struggling because we haven't been up and moving around the past three days as we were turning in pads and all that. But, um, yeah, there's quite a, quite a few people out there struggling. Mm, okay. Um, so, obviously, it wasn't the way we wanted it in this season. So, how do you say we take that? and uh, move on to next season? Uh, I think that you just got to like sit there and realize that, yeah, Lockhart was a tough loss, but that's got to be one of your driving factors. That Next year, you're, you're trying to go out and win a district championship. Uh, you're trying to go out and compete and try to get to the next levels possible, and I think the, I think the best... Uh, I think the best way to do that really is this offseason where we're going to find out like who really wants to go out and compete. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you probably know more about, like, just the whole, like, high school sports world than me, like, um, you know, there's some talks about district realignment next year, what's, yeah. what's that looking like, for I've us heard, at least. Yeah, I've heard a few rumors, uh, about realignment, uh, I'm gonna give you the realignment that I was told that was rumored to me, and I'll give you my true realignment that I think what's gonna happen, so, what I was told is that's gonna be us, Bernie, Bastrop, Liberty Hill, um, uh, Lockhart's gonna move up. Um, Lockhart's up moving up. Lockhart is the one. It's a six A. No, five A Division One. Uh oh. Uh, because we're sitting at that line of five A. Uh, Liberty Hill. Uh, we're gonna get Cedar Creek probably coming back. Or not Cedar Creek. Excuse me. Uh, Bastrop High. So we're not gonna get Cedar Creek. Unfortunately, not. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Um, a free dub at this point. I know. But um, what I think we're really going to get is Bernie High, Alamo mm -hmm. Heights. Yeah. Uh, and as much as like people tell me, there's no way, I'm, I'm going to say Smith and Valley. Smith yeah, Valley. that's what I'm, I'm, I'm rolling Smith and Valley. Uh, but I think it's going to be a fun district no matter what next year, even if we do get uh, Alamo Heights or if we get um, Smith and Valley. I think it's just who wants it more. I think we want it more than anybody. Yeah. We'll put that I mean, there. Heights is a historic rivalry. Mm, definitely. Definitely. And the same, the same thing with Bernie. And I, it's good seeing these rivals come back because I miss it. Because those are the like days where I would go and like watch like the Trapper Pinnell days and stuff like that. And those Tybee Antlers. Uh, those are the days I remember. Was like the Alpine Trapper Pinnell. The Trapper Pinnell. You don't know Trapper Pinnell. <laughs> 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 you still play the Sam Houston. Uh, just those shootout yeah. games with like yeah. Alpine Heights. Yeah. Uh, then. Even though it's not Bernie Champion, Bernie High is historically old. And that's yeah. Coach Russ. Not that one. Wait, what about Champ? Wait, is Champion like? D1? I think. Yeah, Champion's Champion D one. I would love to play Champion personally. Yeah. Think they'll get moved down? Ah uh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Bernie's one of those growing schools mm, on probably. both sides. Yeah. Where like last realignment is very sketchy to see Bernie still sticking out at four. Yeah. I, I was the one really advocating for them to come up and like, hey, like. I say they're, I think they're cheating their numbers, but that's. And they didn't even get a state championship. I, mean, I went to that, and I will say it was beautiful watching the Bernie fans cry. Are you going this year? Oh yes, to see. Well, hopefully not Bernie, but to see if they do make it, Bernie cry again. <laughs> Man, uh, what about UT? I know you're a UT fan. Hook'em horns, yes. Uh, Quinn's coming back, um, so I'm really fired up about that. Uh, personally, the season that lost to Oklahoma each week, I love to see Oklahoma lose, but I also know that each week Oklahoma loses, it's more of a stain on Texas' resume for the College Football Playoff Committee. So yeah. there's that, yeah, yeah, bittersweetness of it. Um, but uh, I'm really fired up about uh, the Longhorns this year. I think they're going to win the Big 12. I think Oklahoma State could also possibly be one of those top dogs in the Big 12. So my thing is, we get past Oklahoma State. I think it's. I don't think it's Oklahoma State. Is it? Well, if we don't, that's better yeah. for us. We have uh, TCU, Iowa State, and uh, I think it's like, I don't even know. It's, like, it's one of those new teams in the Big 12. Uh, but I actually hear there's a guy around here. Um, I think he played for TCU. 
back in the day. Um, what was you? What's a message that you have for him going into this week as a UT fan? <laughs> yeah, I know that guy really, really well. Um, my message to him is uh, Longhorns by ninety. Mm-hmm. Hey, you hear that, Coach G? Longhorns by ninety. And I know Daddy G himself will be supporting the Horns this week. Really? Oh yeah. On Instagram, we're gonna see on Instagram. Yeah, we we might see a little uh, a little bias towards the Longhorns this week. Uh, maybe maybe some means. Uh, I think Daddy G also is also gonna partner with uh, some of the other it's like Brigalicious or whatever it is the, the basketball account. I think that's what it's called. I, I could be totally wrong, but uh, yeah, open uh, for collabs mm-hmm. with Daddy G. Well, I've heard like I heard someone say the other day, you be on the gram. What does that mean? You be on the gram. Well, there's two people that take it. Um, I run multiple accounts. Oh. So, yes, I am a face behind on a, behind many accounts. Mm. Many accounts? Like, how, like many, how many accounts? Like, we're talking about I'm, I run uh, Daddy G. Mm. I run my personal account. And I run, like, TFN Yearbook. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. So, those so are the three. three. Yeah, so three. Yeah, so three. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay. three. Sorry. Okay. No, mm-hmm. that's all good. I was just trying to clarify that. But I wasn't talking about that you'd be on the ground. Like, I heard you actually be on the ground. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I'm talking about. you be sliding in them DMs. Uh, no, it's much of a to say. I really don't. Um, I, I kind of view myself more as, like, like, a, like talking to people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, more in person. Yeah, I would say more in person is like kind of my way. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, uh, if, you, if you live quite a distance away, I'm not gonna come to you in person. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I'll, keep mm. it, I'll keep it at that. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do you play? You play baseball, no? Yeah, uh, I have the past two years, but with surgery coming up. Um, Are you for your wrist or what? Yeah, wrist. Okay. And that, and possibly, I just got done talking to Sorala, and something's going on with my shoulder. Mm. So that's kind of. That's kind of sidelined me a bit from the baseball world, uh, so I, I'm I'm still focused on trying to get well, healthy. With, were you on JBA last year, Case or JBB? Well, I was Caleb. like, it was, it was like a fifty. Uh, I was a floater. I'll say it. I'll say it. I, I was a floater for JBA. So yeah, I'll put it out there. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. Pride out there. Okay, sorry. I really didn't know. I no, 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 no. It's completely fine. I thought you played. With, wait, what position did you play? I was a catcher. Oh, okay. No. Okay. So. uh... Thanks, Ervin. We appreciate you coming on, bro. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the opportunity. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, we'll see y'all in the next episode. Appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, that's all we got. Yeah.